for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another defensive video for you guys today. Today, I'm be going over some rare defenses that if you're running custom playbooks or you just like to use uh, defenses that are off meta, these are going to be the plays that you need to find because these are some of the better defensive plays that people rarely know about in the game. And these defenses are definitely worth using more often in your gameplay. As Woo! always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, it's going to go right into the video. Now, the first defense is something that uh, is getting somewhat popular based on the fact that people are finding a really good blitz to run out of this particular defense. And that particular defense is the cover 2 invert. Now, the cover 2 invert can be found in a lot of different formations. I'm in the 4-4 split, which is probably the most popular. You can also find it in the 3-4 bear out of the same playbook. And in reality, this particular formation is always a very strong run defense there's also a cover two invert out of a four three which i'll go over in a second but one of my favorite plays and something that's found some popularity lately is the four four split cover two invert now as far as the setup for this defense would go this is a defense that i've been using for several years it's been one of my favorite run defenses for a long time uh the setup of run defense is really simple you just want to pinch your defensive line and spread your linebackers that's all you really got to do and you can see this four four uh really takes away just about any run lanes you're gonna have inside or outside if you really want to kick this defense up a notch when it comes to run defense you just want to play underneath maybe set your hard flats to zero or five yards and these outside linebackers as they're already outside wide enough will do a terrific job of cutting off any outside runs now one of the few weaknesses when it comes to this defense is going to be uh, pass defense directly over the middle i don't find this mid read here is very good uh, ultimately you're going to probably want to put him in a middle third to take away any deep routes otherwise he'll typically be exposed over the middle but if you do that you'll see that you actually have a really good defense uh, deep uh, this is something that a lot of times your opponent will mistake for a cover three but it is not susceptible to cover three one play touchdowns the same way that a lot of cover threes are or cover two one play touchdowns for that matter because the cornerbacks are in the deep halves not the safeties so this is a play that doesn't get home run by a lot of one play touchdowns very easily as long as you make these adjustments and as far as the run defense goes this is a very good inside and outside run defense you can see right here it's one of the better run defenses in the game there's also another good cover two invert that can be found in four three playbooks uh, known as the 4-3 wide nine. This particular cover to invert uh, is something where the safeties typically come down in the box and play very similarly. And you also have the option of an outside safety blitz to go with it. This particular defense, in my opinion, is not as good as uh, the 4-4 version, but it's still a very good run defense if you like to run 4-3 playbooks. As you can see, I really don't have a lot of run lanes. You're going to want to do pretty much the same adjustments. You're going to want to put your middle linebacker on the middle third once again. I would say uh, using a, a different linebacker would be best. And then you're going to see, I mean, number one, you got to have a fast middle linebacker because he does have to get back if this does become a deep passing play. But ultimately, there's not a lot of options here uh, when it comes to uh, run lanes. Next up, out of the dollar three two six, we have the cover three lock. Now, this is a very different defense than your typical cover three. You can see you have two different type of zones. Now, there's a lot going on here. Number one, there's one player out of this entire zone coverage that's automatically in man coverage, typically over a slot receiver. This is very unique. Not a lot of defenses have that. Typically, you have to create your own man adjustments, but this particular play has one of those already in it. Number two, on one side, you have a curl flat, and on the other side, you have a seam flat. Seam flats will typically man match, so it's almost like you have a man coverage on both sides slot receivers on both sides of the field which is something that typically is one of the number one areas where people like to throw the ball so that makes this a very useful pass defense i would say when it comes to defense like this the curl flat is probably somebody that you could easily uh, man match to anybody you want on the field because that particular route really doesn't have a ton of usefulness and this is something that uh, you could really make an adjustment this guy here could really be a free defender you could use him you could blitz him you can do whatever you want with this particular defender but ultimately uh, this is a very good uh, pass defense all across the board another good defense that's also kind of rare is the cover three cloud uh, which in this particular formation is called the cover three cloud show two cover three clouds can be found in a lot of different formations like right here we have the cover three cloud press uh, which is in the four three normal you could also find it in the dime formation to me the dime formation is probably one of the better ones there's really two things that make this particular defense unique number one you have a curl flat on one side a hard flat on the other that's something that you could easily change if you wanted to go over the top and just basically give yourself a cloud flat and a curl flat on both sides to basically take away deep routes but i find that hard flat can be useful and definitely has some opportunity to confuse your opponent but what also makes this play 
play really good is even though it is a cover three, based off the fact that this particular safety here is in a deep half rather than a straight drop back like a corner would be, this particular play doesn't react to cover three one play touchdowns the same way that certain uh, cover threes do. Typically all cover threes can get beat by this outside cornerback not properly covering their area where the deep zone here uh, will basically take that away. So if you're running regular cover threes and you're getting beat by one play touchdowns, these particular type of defenses will basically shut that down. And then last but not least, we have a good old fashioned CB zone blitz. Now this is something that you don't see a lot online. A lot of people rather use more elaborate blitzes that take a lot of setup. If you're not good at doing these type of blitzes, the CB zone blitz is probably one of the better ones that you could use. This is another concept you can find in a lot of different formations. Like right here, I'm in the 4-3 over, corner blitz three. It's gonna be the exact same thing. Basically, if you're gonna run a blitz like this, the only real setup you need to make is if there's a receiver too far out wide, you probably wanna get this deep zone out a little bit more than he is. This is very similar to the cover three cloud where it doesn't react the same way to cover three one play touchdowns. So you really should have uh, more success. I would say the best way to make this play successful though is to blitz your user and just come down somewhere over here just to try to pull the lineman. But ultimately, whenever the receiver's out wide enough, the right tackle or the left tackle won't pick up on the blitzing cornerback. And a lot of times you'll get a lot of really easy free pressure. So we'll go ahead and we'll do this particular play. Like I said, I can just come down into the box here, try to walk away. You see the nope. quarterback just comes in free, even though he wasn't strong enough to take down Dak Prescott. You can still see how easy of a blitz this is with really no setup. The closer this receiver is to the boundary, the more successful this particular blitz will be because as far away as this cornerback is, typically no offensive lineman will pick him up coming in on the blitz. As you can see right here, the right tackle is taken up. The guard tries to switch over, but it's too late as this, as this cornerback's just too fast and he sprints right in for an easy, what would have been a sack. So while there are more successful, more consistent blitzes in the game, there aren't a lot that take as little setup as this particular play here, as this outside cornerback blitz takes no setup at all and a lot of times will get you a lot of easy pressures. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, I did do a video like this about routes. Uh, and run plays. I'll have links in the description for those. And if you want to see more videos like this, as always, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.